Well, I think this is one of the least stressed studios in British television, at least when the air conditioning works, but more than half the people who work suffer from stress. Well, today is National Stress Awareness Day. In a new study, it's claimed it's all down to Britain's long hours culture. If proof were needed, just look at these pictures of the Prime Minister. What a difference a few years and a pretty stressful job can make. Well, we're joined now by, uh, for a nice relaxing chat, by Quinton Letts from the Daily Mail and Carol Spears from the International Stress Management Association. Thank you, the two of you, for coming in. Carol, tell us first of all, if people feel stressed out, what should they do about it? I think that they need to be aware of their bodies and need to be aware of the reactions that they're experiencing. So it's physical, physical, uh, as well mental, as mental, and behavioural. And once they've experienced those, once they're aware of those reactions, then to take action. Do you think some people then who are stressed out don't know they're stressed out? They just don't listen to their bodies. They don't listen to the warning signs. Okay, what are the signs? Some of the signs can be heart palpitations, mood swings, lack of concentration, um, you know, just everything that you can think of where your body's not doing the things that it normally does. So listen out for the warning signs. Quite often, though, people don't get them until it's a bit too late, though, do they? That's the problem. They get them, but they don't actually appreciate them. They think they'll go away, and they think that stress will just disappear. And that's what Stress Awareness Day is all about, is to actually increase that awareness of stress. Okay. Well, what about the long hours culture, something which people have actually talked about in America as mm. well, the fact that some people feel pressure mm. to stay, get in early, stay on late, mm. their family life mm. suffers, sometimes their work suffers mm. too, doesn't it? The presenteeism factor is very apparent in industry at the moment, and there's the story of the man that puts a jacket on his chair so nobody knows when he comes and when he goes. It doesn't mean he's shirking, but it does actually mean that there's a pressure on him to have to be there, an expectation from his boss that he has to be there, and that's just actually not going to help productivity and performance. So take a deep breath, take some time off. Balance your life, your home and your life. H home and work, that's what you need to balance. Right, that's good advice. Carol, Quinton, thanks very much for coming.